What's up, YouTube? This is Mathwiz97, and welcome to episode number three of my WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. And we are kicking this match, this episode off, with a match between Sami Zayn and Corey Graves. But before we get too far into this, we're going to take a look at the match card for this episode. So, today we saw Sheamus pick up a victory over Booker T in a singles matchup. Tamina Snuka defeated Emma. And, well, I'll touch on this in a little bit, but there will be a battle royal for the Divas Championship at SummerSlam. Those two are participants involved. The New Day picked up a victory over the team of Curtis Axel and Damian Sandow. And we saw Darren Young score a win over the former number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Tyson Kidd. And in the main event, the Lucha Dragons will go one-on-one -on -one with awesome... One-on-one, -on -one. it's a tag team match, what am I saying? You know what I mean. The Lucha Dragons are going to be taking on Awesome Truth as Kalisto makes his debut to Universe Mode. That should be awesome. Really looking forward to that one. But of course, we have this matchup to kick the show off between Sami Zayn and Corey Graves. And what we saw at Money in the Bank, Corey Graves was involved in the Money in the Bank. And he came close to, to get in the briefcase, but in the end, he just got shut down by Cesaro. And granted, this was after he had been speared through a barricade on behalf of Roman Reigns. Needless to say, it was not the greatest night for Corey Graves, but tonight he's here, he's taking on Sami Zayn, so we get to see a rematch from Payback where these two men squared off and that matchup ended in a no contest with both men going through the announce table. It was, and it was a double count out, the referee called the match off. I mean, it was a draw, no contest, basically means the same thing. There was no conclusive result from that matchup. And this is also stemming back from when Corey Graves assaulted Sami Zayn after Sami Zayn made his debut. I mean, Corey Graves, he rushed down to the ring, drop kicked Sami Zayn's face into the apron. And Sami Zayn, well, he's been looking for redemption on that ever since. The only problem is, Corey Graves is on SmackDown and Sami Zayn is on Raw. So it hasn't exactly been easy getting this matchup into place. I mean, between conversations with the Raw general manager, Paul Heyman, and the anonymous SmackDown general manager, who, honestly, who is that SmackDown general manager? Maybe we can find that out sometime this year. That'd be great. But basically, you know, we got the match at Payback, and after that, it, I mean, Corey Graves, he qualified for Money in the Bank. Sami Zayn, he just didn't get that opportunity to face Corey Graves, but now... Both men, they're just kind of, I mean, Sami Zayn, he's been building himself up on Raw. Corey Graves, after Money in the Bank, he's just kind of, you know, he lost, so now he's gotta, he's gotta start at square one again. He's gotta figure out what he's gonna do, and now would be a perfect time to perhaps get some closure on this, this feud between Sami Zayn and Corey Graves. And of course, as I say that, Sami Zayn, not only is he fighting on behalf of himself, well, wait a minute, Corey Graves rolls out of the ring here, Oh, and look at this, Graves just, oh, wait a minute, Sami Zayn! Sami Zayn launching himself over the top rope, and he just landed right on Corey Graves right there. Graves, he was trying to play some mind games with Sami Zayn, ducking outside the ring, slowing down the pace of the match, but Sami Zayn right away quickens it back to match his own style, as now Sami Zayn, he picks Corey Graves up here, out on the outside, and he's looking to throw him, oh, but Graves counters, and Sami Zayn gets whipped right into those steel steps at ringside. And this match is just turning into a downright fight here on the outside. Now it's Zayn slumped against the barricade. Graves with the bare knuckle shots to the face. Referee to a seven count, but Graves breaks the count. And now, oh, right to the knee. Right to the leg of Sami Zayn. And we know that Corey Graves loves to target the leg of his opponents. As now he's dragging him there. But as I was saying earlier, I want to talk about it before I forget. We do have a Divas Championship Battle Royal set to take place at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. The participants in that matchup have been... Well, we haven't determined them all just yet. We saw on Monday Night Raw when Naomi picked up a win over Cameron. That was to qualify for the Divas Championship Battle Royal. We also had Emma and Tamina who faced off tonight. Both of those, particip or both of those Divas will be in the match as well. Of course, the champ Paige will be included. So that right there is four of our six. Uh, if we do remember, Emma and Tamina were a part of the Divas Championship triple threat at Money in the Bank, so it's only right that they get another shot, especially considering Tamina is the former champ. 
But then we've got two more spots we need to fill. So there will be a qualifying matchup on SmackDown, and then next episode of Monday Night Raw, we will showcase another one is, oh, Corey Graves! Corey Graves drop kicks Sami Zayn face first into the apron, and that has almost become a, a trademark move in Corey Graves' arsenal. Oh, there's a referee up to a nine count. Sami Zayn on the verge of a count out, but he makes it back into the ring before before Corey Graves can get the win by count out, before the ref could reach a count of 10. And now Corey Graves, well, I mean, Sami Zayn just got kicked face first into the apron for Pete's sake. I mean, of course, he's going to be a little, a little, I mean, he's got to be out on his feet right now. I mean, he probably doesn't even know where he is. It's going to take him a while to recover from that one. His brains have been absolutely scrambled by Corey Graves. And now Corey Graves, he's going to work, slowing down the pace of the matchup, working methodically on the leg of Sami Zayn, looking to pick Sami Zayn apart. And this is just Corey Graves' style. He loves to just punish his opponents. But as we see right there, he was looking for a submission hold, but unfortunately, it was just, just bad positioning for Graves as Zayn was up against the ropes there, able to just get his foot on the bottom rope. Whether that was intentional, just good ring awareness by Sami Zayn, or just by pure coincidence, as Zane kicks him off, crossbody off the top rope as he hooks the leg on Graves. Two counts, and a kick out by Graves at a count of two. Close call there. As Sami Zayn now picking Graves up to his feet. Now it's Sami Zayn's turn to go on the offensive as he's got Graves hooked here, perhaps setting him up for a fisherman buster, just planting Corey Graves right on his shoulders there into the mat. And Sami Zayn, he's scaling to the top rope. You can see he's a little bit slow after the leg has been worked by Graves, but now a splash, hooks the leg, two count, and a kick out by Graves at a count of two. As Graves manages to keep, him, keep himself alive in this matchup. Counter now by Graves with an elbow to the side of the head. And here's Graves, big knee right to the skull, and that drops Sami Zayn down to the mat. And now, well, you can see Graves, he's, he's frustrated now. He wants to put away Sami Zayn for good and just, just choking him out there. The referee, he's got to keep an eye on that. Oh, just drives the knee right into the, the back of Zayn's head, driving him face first to the mat. That could give you a broken nose. As Sami Zayn now with a nice counter. Oh, look at this. He's got Graves, spins him around. Blue Thunder Bomb. He connects with the Blue Thunder Bomb, hooks the leg, and a kick out at two by Graves. And Zayn, you could see a little bit of frustration there. Thought perhaps that might have been the coup de grace to put Corey Graves away. But Graves fights on. And tilt a whirl backbreaker from Zayn. And Corey Graves, he is down once again. Sami Zayn, that could be it. Hooks the leg. It doesn't hook the leg, I should say. But a kick out by Graves at two. Sometimes when I mean to say goes for the pinfall, I just say hooks the leg by default. Because, I don't know. You should hook the leg when you pin people. I've said this before. People gotta hook the legs. It forces their opponent to use more energy. And it's less likely that they'll kick out. But... No, sometimes that loses you the match if you just don't have the strength to hook the leg. Gives your opponent just a bit of an extra opportunity to survive. And now a backbreaker from Graves. As he absolutely sent Sami Zayn crashing down into the cover. And no, a kick out by Zayn at two. And that's, a, that's a situation right there. Perhaps if Graves had hooked the leg, he might have gotten the win. But he didn't. And Zayn just had to use, didn't quite have to use as much energy to kick out as perhaps he would have if Graves had hooked the leg. But nonetheless, Graves, he's gonna continue to work on that leg as he's got it all wrapped up in the ropes there. Oh, just look at that, just just putting so much torque, so much tension on the leg of Sami Zayn, on the knee, and now just stomping away at the arm of Sami Zayn. As Corey Graves now picks Zayn up to his feet, tosses him into the corner now, into the turnbuckle. Oh, wait, a counter by Sami Zayn. Zayn with a counter and a drop kick. Big time drop kick there by Sami Zayn. And again, he's going to the top rope. Sami Zayn, you can see he's sluggish, but he's getting there. And another diving splash there from the top rope onto Corey Graves. But Zayn, you can see he's still fighting. It's only adrenaline that's got to be keeping him going at this point. Dragon suplex. And he's got the shoulders down. Oh, but Graves kicks out at two and a half. Another near fall there between these two men. Sami Zayn going for a DDT counter. Counter by Graves. As, oh, another chop block there. Right to the right to the kneecap, right to the shin of Sami Zayn. As Corey Graves, just like that. You know, Sami Zayn was starting to fire up a comeback, but Graves, nuh-uh, shuts it down like that. 
as Zane counters with an elbow to the face. Look at this, Sami Zayn. What is this? Sunset flip into a power bomb. A sunset flip, a running sunset flip power bomb there. Unfortunately, again, just another case of bad ring positioning. Just Zane's momentum just carried him all the way over to the ropes and Graves. He was lucky enough to be right there to the ropes. He could just grab him and get the rope break. Now Sami Zayn dumps Graves out to the floor. And what the hell is gonna happen here? Graves, he's he's dazed. Oh my god! Sami Zayn through the ropes! A DDT! A tornado DDT as he dives through the ropes. We gotta get a replay on that, folks. I mean, just look at this. Just poetry in motion right there by Sami Zayn. Just beautiful, innovative offense to bring the fight to Corey Graves here on the outside. And Zayn, he's fired up now. I mean, Graves, I don't know if he can come back from that. Sami Zayn lights him up with a chop there. And now he's going to toss him back into the ring. What a move by Sami Zayn. There might be no coming back from that for Graves. As Sami Zayn now, he re-enters the ring. And now it's just a matter of time. Corey Graves, the clock is ticking away. Time is running out. As Zayn backs Graves into the corner. Lights him up with another chop. Oh, Canterbury Graves. Graves is back in it. And a flying forearm right into the corner, right to the face, the jaw of Sami Zayn. Corey Graves now. Just measuring Sami Zayn, looking perhaps for the finishing blow. And he's hooked him here for a suplex, counter by Zayn. Zayn counters the suplex into a neck breaker. And now Sami Zayn, he's just one big move away, I think, from finishing Graves off for good. Oh, and speaking of big moves, Haluva kick! Haluva kick connects by Sami Zayn into the corner. Graves is out cold. Sami Zayn into the cover. Two count. That is it. Good night, Corey Graves. The victor on this night is Sami Zayn, and that, that's that got to be satisfying for Sami Zayn. I mean, you got to think, Graves, he attacked this man on the night of his debut, and he's just been a thorn in Sami Zayn's side. I mean, you got to think, being on separate shows, Zayn really couldn't get any closure with this rivalry, and it has to have just been bugging him for the past month that he hasn't been able to get his hands on Graves since payback. But tonight, he, he gets it done. And he kicks him square in the face. And that is it. Sami Zayn, he gets the win that... The win that he really needed, I'd have to say. I mean, Corey Graves, we've seen that he can destroy people. But Sami Zayn, we haven't quite seen exactly what he can bring to the table. Payback was a good glimpse. But he couldn't defeat Graves on that night. As, oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on. The match is over. But Graves, nonetheless, is looking to continue the assault on Sami Zayn as... A huge knee right to the face of Sami Zayn. Come on, Graves. Enough is enough. I mean, it, it, Graves showing his true colors here tonight. He is a sore loser. And again, just inflicting punishment on Sami Zayn. He, he doesn't care about the win now at this point. He just wants to break Sami Zayn. He doesn't want him to be able to wrestle ever again in his career. He wants to end Zayn's career tonight. As he's working on the leg. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this Neville. That's Adrian Neville. The man that Corey Graves injured took him out of action at Over the Limit back in May. And now Adrian Neville is back. Clothesline, Graves over the top rope. And Adrian Neville is back, folks, with a bang. Oh my god, look at this. Flying over the top rope, somersault plancha. Taking down. Oh my god. Adrian Neville is back, folks. I don't believe it. Adrian Neville, we haven't seen him since Over the Limit when Corey Graves just completely dissected him after his victory over Bo Dallas. And now, Neville, he's here tonight. He's able to save his friend Sami Zayn. Give him a bit of an assist here tonight. And, well, look at this. Look at the sportsmanship by, by Adrian Neville here tonight. Just raising the hand of the, of the winner, Sami Zayn. And, well, I don't think this is over between Neville and Graves. This is only just beginning but we get to see some closure for the rivalry of Graves and Zayn as Sami Zayn scores a win tonight, and Adrian Neville is back! I'm excited! I can't wait to see what Neville has to bring for us in the near future. And speaking of the future, we are about to see the debut of a brand new superstar here to Universe Mode, and quite honestly, the birth of a new tag team who could perhaps be the future of the tag team division in the Lucha Dragons. That is right, folks. This this has been something that has been 
brewing for quite a while, of course, Kalisto, quite a popular superstar down in NXT, and I had been getting a lot of requests, a lot of people asking, well, when's Kalisto gonna debut? Kalisto should totally come up to the main roster, make his debut. We need the loot to Dragons. Well, here he is. Kalisto is here. He's finally arrived here to Universe Mode, and he's set to team up with Sin Cara here tonight as the Lucha Dragons make their tag team debut against the team of R-Truth and The Miz, better known as Awesome Truth. And we're about to see right now as R-Truth makes his way down to the ring. Of course, Awesome Truth, they've been kind of up and down as a tag team. We can take it back uh, when they first originally formed. It, you know, our truth he was coming off of a loss to The Rock at TLC. The Miz, he was, well, he was in a very bad spot. I mean, losing to Adam Rose, not once, but twice. I mean, The Miz, he was just really struggling for quite a while. But now he, you know, they were able to form up together as a tag team. Even defeated The New Day back at the Elimination Chamber pre-show. But since then, they've just, you know, they've gotten a couple wins here and there, a couple losses here and there. It just hasn't really worked out necessarily for them. I mean, they haven't been bad, but they haven't exactly been setting the world on fire as, either. I mean, it's just kind of been, it's been up and down for them. I mean, they really haven't hit their stride quite yet. It's just been you know, a bit of a slow, it seemed like they were on the verge of, you know, gelling together and becoming that next big tag team. And then they just, something just, there was just a disconnection there for a brief period of time. And they were, you know, it's been kind of rebuilding from there. But tonight, though, if they can defeat this new tag team of the Lucha Dragons, then, I mean, it's very possible that Awesome Truth could move up the ranks, perhaps even become the next number one contenders for the tag team titles. We did see last episode that Awesome Truth picked up a victory over Curtis Axel and Damian Sandow. So that was a good victory for Awesome Truth, a good way to kind of get them some momentum, especially now that we're coming off of the heels of Money in the Bank. I mean, the Usos, they've had back-to-back -back opportunities at the titles, and they have failed both times. So really, the number one contendership for the tag team titles is up in the air. It's anybody's ball game right now, and I gotta say, Awesome Truth could perhaps be that next team to challenge the Ascension. Although, now would be a good time as well for the Lucha Dragons to start making waves here in the WWE. Let's look at this, Kalisto. Look at the look at the rapid fire kicks from Kalisto. Snapmare takedown. Oh, and another vicious kick right to the lower back of our truth. As Kalisto right off the bat, quickening the pace of this matchup. And you know, from what I've heard from his work down in NXT, from what I've seen in his work in NXT, Kalisto, they like to call him the human pinball. And that's for good reason. I mean, this man. It's just like he's been shot out of a cannon. Just high-paced action all over the place. And look at this. Kick to the gut. Sunset flip as he goes for the cover. One, two. No, kick out by R-Truth at two. Well, just before two count. But just like that, you see, R-Truth, he can't even handle the offense of Kalisto right now as Kalisto chops down the legs. And you can see he's fired up. He's hopping around the ring. He is just on fire right now. R-Truth, he can't even find a counter. Well, there's one. There's the counter he needed, and he follows it up with a drop kick. And Kalisto gets dropped. As Kalisto now back to his feet, look at this. He runs at him, and now head scissors take down as he sends our truth head first, crashing into the mat. As the Miz, all he can do right now is just watch. And I'm sure at this point, the Miz really doesn't want. Oh, nice hip toss there from Truth. I was going to say the Miz at that point probably didn't want much of Kalisto because Kalisto was just. Bringing the pain to our truth and now it's truth who delivers a leg drop and delivers some pain of his own as he goes for the cover on Kalisto one two no a kick out by Kalisto and I do have to admit I was talking about on an episode of my career mode that the the gameplay seemed to be a little bit slower um what I've noticed is that the pinfall counts are a bit slower as well like it's just, I don't know if it's just with a new pin system that you know the ref timing has to be matched up more appropriately with this new system. I don't know, maybe in, maybe in future years they might shrink that little pin bar a little bit just to kind of quicken the count. I mean, that's just one thing I'm kind of noticing. It's sort of a nitpicky thing, but like you just see here, Sin Cara with the cover. Um, okay, well, R-Truth kicked out before it counts, but it, you know, it kind of has to match up with the bar. And I feel like we'll notice over the next, you know, obviously for the rest of the game, we'll kind of get to see what this pin count sort of 
Yeah, like, or what this pin system has to offer. I'd say they could probably shrink that circle a little bit more just to kind of have less space so the ref could count faster. That's, oh, look at that, the Miz cuts me off of my tangent as he slams Sin Cara off the top rope. Kalisto was trying to get into the ring, but the referee was distracted. And just like that, the Miz, oh, wait a minute. Look at Sin Cara, Truth not even back to his feet, and the Miz is taking some punishment. Miz hasn't even entered the match yet, but oh, a huge clothesline in the corner by our truth As now I'm falling behind the action here. Look at this. Oh, our truth just a beautiful move. Planting Sin Cara into the mat there with like an inverted suplex. I know the name of the move, I just can't quite think of it, but that's close enough. I mean, that's basically what it is. Let's look at this. Oh my God, our truth what is this? Oh, what a move! That's just devastating. The impact into the the shoulders right there, the collarbone of Sin Cara must be tremendously painful. As now the Miz is tagged into the matchup, and he's looking to get some retribution against Sin Cara for that little that little power bomb moments ago. As Miz is well, now he's finally the legal man in this matchup, so we can finally get some back and forth competition here between Miz and Sin Cara, not on the outside, and actually in the ring as we see now the Miz with the submission hold here as is a nice rear face lock applied but Sin Cara he's not gonna tap out to that Miz just doing a good job at wearing down Sin Cara slowing down the pace because the Lucha Dragons they I would say Sin Cara is less of you know he doesn't quite have the speed that Kalisto has Kalisto just seems like he can fly around the ring like lightning Sin Cara though he's pretty quick pretty high uh, pretty athletic in his own right uh, but still, none the oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, there's a kick out. Oof, Miz almost had Sin Cara there. But as I was saying, you know, a slower paced style of matchup is going to contrast with the high paced action of the Lucha Dragons as Sin Cara with that wrestling hero slam, a high angle slam, I should say, taking down the Miz as there's a, he bounces him out of the corner. Sin Cara, huge move there as he absolutely planted the Miz as now he makes the tag in comes scene or in comes Kalisto and the Miz oh well Miz you're not gonna this is not gonna go too well for the Miz as Kalisto took him down up to the top rope and look at that he just made it to the top rope like it was nothing as he goes for the cover off the splash Miz kicks out it was like a split second and Kalisto was up to the top rope that's just the tremendous speed that he possesses as we see now the Miz Looking for a DDT. Counter by Kalisto into a leg sweep. And he takes the Miz down. And Kalisto, he's firing up the WWE Universe with the Lucha chance. Oh, and now he's got the Miz for Salida del Sol. And he hooks both legs. One, two, three. That is it for Awesome Truth. The Lucha Dragons pick up a big time victory tonight in their debut as a tag team. Kalisto. Getting the pin in his debut matchup on The Miz. Great job there by Kalisto. That is, of course, a former Intercontinental Champion that Kalisto just pinned right there. And that'll go a long way in the career of this young man. And I'm sure this is only just the beginning of what Kalisto has to bring to the table, what he has to offer to this universe mode. And I think Friday Night SmackDown has just... They've just picked up a gem of a young talent right there. I mean... This has got to be one of the hottest young prospects coming out of NXT. SmackDown. They couldn't... I don't think they could have gotten any bigger than Kalisto here tonight. Big time victory for the Lucha Dragons. And that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. We got a big time episode this today. I mean, we have the, the return of Neville. The debut of Kalisto. This is... This is only the beginning. I said it was a new era in Universe Mode and... That's just what it is. So thank you for watching. Keep on YouTubing.